Hello children, good morning, good afternoon, good evening whenever you are watching my video. Uh, in today's video, it is uh, very important to share a message that you are going to get your French exam this time in the mid-term assessment. Right, I am repeating, in the first week of September, you are going to have your exam as I told you in the previous video as well. So, for that, you are going to get chapter 0, 1 and 2 as a syllabus chapter 0 1 and 2 as a syllabus and uh, apart from that you have to submit your book work book work not notebook book work means the back exercises of chapter 0 1 and 2 you have to fill the exercises click the photo and send it to me by whatsapp or email right by whatsapp or email and after that what you have to do you need to go through all the questions uh, and the uh, information on france from chapter zero thoroughly so that you should attempt all the questions you are going to get 20 questions you are going to get 20 questions and you have to answer each of them right you need to answer all the questions right you will be getting four options and you need to tick one of them I hope I am clear about your assessment and uh, I wish you uh, best of luck for your exam and start preparing for it because you are not having much time. You need to uh, complete your work and submit too to me. Right? So now let's start the class. So we were on chapter 3. Uh, in the previous class we did Kiesa and Keskese how to form the question who is this and what is this what are these and who are these right so kia sir for who is this or who are these keska say for what is this and what are these so i was repeating it uh, just to give you a recap of your previous class because it's quite a difficult one today we are going to do the vocab and we'll start the exercises first I am going to read the vocab. So, listen to it carefully so that you should get the pronunciation. Right? So, a la canteen in the canteen. A la canteen in the canteen. Ensemble together. On cinquième. On cinquième. In fifth. On sixième. In sixth, un cahier, notebook, un crayon, a pencil, un enfant, child, un étudiant, a student, a gâteau, a cake, un gâteau, a cake, un livre, a book, un livre, a book, un nez, I hope it is clear, un nez, nose, now come to your right side, yes, I hope you can see easily, it's un oiseau, un oiseau, why I am saying noiseau because uh, o is a vowel and it is followed by n so we have to uh, pronunciate n also it's a rule so an vaso is a bird a ballon a ball or a balloon in cassette a cassette Cassettes we used to have uh, before, though uh, they are still there in some countries. So, a cassette. Like CDs, we used to have cassettes, right? Uh, une chaise. Une chaise. A chair. In a disc. A disc. A CD. In étudiante. A female student or a girl student, right? In bum, right? What is it? 
in palm palm is what an apple in regle a scale in regle a scale in robe a female dress in voiture a car in voiture a car vous êtes en quelle classe vous êtes en quelle classe you are in which class you are in which class this uh, sentence is very useful as you can ask others uh, in which class they are when you are meeting for the first time right so let's start the exercises we will begin with question number 1 that is remplissez le blanc avec les pronoms sujets right means you have to fill in the blanks with these subjects subjects je tu il elle nous vous like this okay so you have given the conjugation after the blank and you need to read the sentence carefully and judge which subject will come here right what you have to write slash a un garçon es what is the conjugation after es after the blank that is es es comes with tu it always comes with tu only okay now uh, let me write the answers that is question number 1 it's tu is it clear i guess it's not wait wait for a moment let me check not visible okay it's tu right i guess it's not clear so let me uh, let me tell you the spellings right so t u t u t u t u it's a for t u t u okay it's t u t u then alice a on on 5th alice is in 5th so alice is a girl so you will write e double l e e double l e l because we are indicating that it's a female for girl we use l she is in sankyam or fifth right so first answer is tu second answer is l e double l e l right then ma famille et moi nous sommes indien some always comes with nu so n o u s third answer is n o u s c part n o u x n o u s then slash sui bo i am handsome so i is always je sui comes with je means i so you have to write j e je j e je now priya is shreya slash so andian priya and shreya means we are talking about two girls so more than one girl what do we use l plural means e double l e s e double l e s right e double l e s now 
slash at on cgm so at comes with wo only v o u s you all are in sixth you are in sixth v o u s v o u s wo v o u s wo right so f part is v o u s u r so that's all for today right uh in the next class we will uh, follow the next exercises and we'll try to finish chapter 3 and very important please work hard do your work while doing your work or exercises you'll come to know uh, how much you are knowing and what are your doubts and uh, jot down your doubts and uh, call me or text me or you can mail me your uh, problems and i'll try to solve them as fast as possible and at the end work hard enjoy yourself don't forget to watch the video see you next week bye bye